morning. My name is Lori. Welcome to my channel. We are quilters. It is Upskill Monday. Today we are going to use the Stitch Sampler book and we are going to add some fancy stitches to some of the crazy blocks. I fixed a bracelet. Look at that. Woo! It's like you're being given directions on how to embroider by royalty. Just saying. Anyway, I pulled out three of the blocks already. And uh, before I start doing this, I want to show you some real world examples of where French knots have been used. I have this scarf on my dresser. I probably picked it up at a yarn sale because I love these little dresser scarves. This one has little parts of the flowers are done with French knots. And here's another one that is behind my ironing station. And part of the embroidery is little French knots. And here is, Dan has been working on cross stitch and he is working on a kit. And part of the kit uses French knots to highlight things on the cross stitch. And here's one he did before that the flower bushes, the little flowers are French knots on top of the embroidery to make it look more flower-like. So French knots get snuck in all kinds of places and they are a very basic stitch. Now I'm going to just quickly show you. There it is, it says French knots. You can use these depending on how big you want the stitch to be. I think this would look nice with little French knots all over it, by the way. Dan hates French knots. He hates doing it, but he does them because he knows that they add texture to his work. But I think adding like little French knots on those flowers and as the flower centers would give that a nice amount of texture. That's why I pulled that one out. And this one, I will go back and some light colored, I know pink vines aren't really a thing, but some light color, like a yellow, would work really well there. And I have already started doing French knots on this one, along this green vine. And because there's these same colors of green and red here, I thought a little red berry would look fantastic. French knots are very easy. And I was talking with Dan about this before I sat down. And even the two of us have different, different ideas about French knots. He uses two threads and he goes around the needle twice. I like to use, this is four because I really want it to show up. A lot of times I use three and I always go around three times. So you come up where you want it to be and you go toward the body of the, where you, your thread is and you wrap around. I'm going to do four because I really want it to show up. And I keep my needle down near where I've come up and then I'm going to put the tip of my needle right back down through there and I'm going to pick it up. You'll see that that thread wrapped around is right there and then I'm going to pull it down through. And ta-da, it makes a nice little berry knot. That's all there is to it. Let me do a second one for you. And this is one of those things that the more you do, and I'm, I'm even, I'm being so lazy today. I'm like weaving my thread between where the stems were. I'm not even retying every time. The more you do these, I think the better you get at them. And this is leftover thread from when I did cross stitch last week. It was two strands, which I think is a weird amount. So I just doubled it and knotted it at the end. So I'm gonna, again, do four around. And you probably noticed that this needle is very thin. Well, 
I just happen to have a beading needle. You don't have to use, it doesn't matter what kind of, oh, see it slipped. Oops, things happen. Let me do that again. Four times around and I keep it as close to, oh my, I'm having all kinds of trouble. Part of it is I'm trying to show you at the same time and that makes it you go down through the same hole if you can and if you don't get it in the exact same hole it will be all right you pull it tight and there you go now as I was looking through the book I noticed a stitch that was it makes it's a longer stitch with that knot a little ways out so that you can do them as the centers of flowers. And I think they called it the pistol stitch. So you can, there's even a stitch if you mess up that stitch that somebody discovered. So that is all there is for today. I will show you this here in, a minute, in just a minute after I get some more knots put on it. And that's all I have to share with you today. Next week, I will share another line stitch with you that somehow I didn't. But there are so many embellishment things here on my little book of embellishments that I could be doing a little embellishment for quite a while if I do each week. So back in a few minutes to share with you. one I think I'm going to try a piece of this variegated thread it's a nice dark gold at one end and then it goes clear to light at the other end I think I'm going to try that for along here along this pink vine and I'm going to use the regular needle that I use I think I'm going to use six strands and I'm going to do less wraps around to get a nice fat not. Let me thread this up. Well, let me attempt to thread this up. Okay, so there I've got it threaded. I'm going to trim the end. I noticed that it's missing a strand right there toward the end. So I'm gonna thread that, make a little knot, and away we go. And same, same thing. I'm just using a bigger needle. Uh, fatter, I should say a fatter needle. A more full needle. I think I'll do two wraps around. That's what it really recommends in the book. Let's see how it comes out. Oh, see, that works pretty nicely. And it says sit the knot right on top. And again, I am going to weave my thread through the existing stitches and just do wherever I feel it needs a French knot. I'm gonna make sure I don't pull it tight because I don't want to pucker my work two, one, two, go back down through as close to the same hole as you can. Oh, that one, that one was fighting me. Ooh, very nice. And it pulls in tighter than you'd think. I, I like that. Let me do Another one. I'm hoping that I can soon see the variations in color, because that's the whole point of using variegated thread. It's actually harder with this needle that has, it's a cruel needle. It has a bigger eye. 
and it's harder because there's all those layers. Oh, see that works. <laughs> Maybe the color difference will be so subtle that you won't, we won't be able to really notice, but our, it, our eye will find it pleasing. Okay, let me get to this and I will show you in a minute. So here you have two examples with little French knots. These ones are a little daintier and these ones were the full six strands, so they're a little bigger. But now you can see that they are fairly easy to do. The more you practice, the easier it gets. And if they're not all exactly the same, it's all right. That's what hand embroidery is all about. I will see you on Wednesday for Build a Block Wednesday. Thank you for watching. See you later. Please remember to like and subscribe and help my channel grow. I appreciate all of you.